Brothers and sisters, Psalm 35 is one of the most powerful psalms for protection against the evil that lurks around every corner for us today. The Psalm of David focuses on praying to our Father God to protect us from people who wish us evil and want to harm us. Prayer will protect you from jealousy, lies, betrayal, and human injustice. If you feel that someone wants your destruction and misfortune, it means that you are not coincidentally watching this video, so help spread God and His words by sharing this video with your loved ones. Subscribe to this channel. This way you will help us to spread the good news to more believers. Join us on this journey of faith as we seek inspiration and guidance from the words of King David, finding solace and strength in the promises of God's protection and justice. In Psalm 35, we discover a timeless source of comfort and encouragement, reminding us of the unwavering love and support of our Heavenly Father. Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for mine help. Draw out also the spear and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my hurt. Let them be as chaff before the wind and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. For without cause have they hid for me their net in a pit, which without cause they have digged for my soul. Let destruction come upon him at unawares, and let his net, that he hath hid, catch himself. Into that very destruction let him fall, and my soul shall be joyful in the Lord, it shall rejoice in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is like unto thee, which deliverest the poor from him that is too strong for him? Yea, the poor and the needy from him that spoileth him. False witnesses did rise up. They laid to my charge things that I knew not. They rewarded me evil for good to the spoiling of my soul. But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I humbled my soul with fasting and my prayer returned into mine own bosom. I behaved myself as though he had been my friend or brother. I bowed down heavily as one that mourneth for his mother. But in mine adversity they rejoiced and gathered themselves together. Yea, the abjects gathered themselves together against me, and I knew it not. They did tear me and ceased not. With hypocritical mockers and feasts, they gnashed upon me with their teeth. Lord, how long wilt thou look on? Rescue my soul from their destructions, my darling from the lions. I will give thee thanks in the great congregation. I will praise thee among much people. Let not them that are mine enemies wrongfully rejoice over me. Neither let them wink with the eye that hate me without a cause for they speak not peace, but they devise deceitful matters against them that are quiet in the land. Yea, they opened their mouth wide against me and said, Aha, aha, our eye hath seen it. This thou hast seen, O Lord, keep not silence, O Lord, be not far from me. Stir up thyself and awake to my judgment, even unto my cause, my God and my Lord. Judge me, O Lord my God according to thy righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their hearts, Ah, so would we have it. Let them not say, We have swallowed him up. Let them be ashamed and brought to confusion together that rejoice at mine hurt. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against me. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified, which hath pleasure in the prosperity of his servant, and my tongue shall speak of thy righteousness and of thy praise all the day long. 
Heavenly Father, creator of the universe, giver of life, and shepherd of our souls, we come before your divine presence today with humble hearts and seeking spirits. As we embark on this extended prayer inspired by the profound words of King David in Psalm 35, we acknowledge the depth of the challenges we face and the need for your divine intervention. We, like David, find ourselves in the midst of trials, surrounded by adversaries who seek to harm us, Lord. We call upon your holy name, knowing that you are our refuge and strength, our ever-present help in times of trouble. Grant us the grace to endure and the faith to persevere. In Psalm 35, David pleaded for your divine intervention, and we echo his cry, asking for your righteous judgment to prevail in our lives. O God, contend with those who contend with us and fight against those who fight against us. Let your justice be a shield around us, and may your glory be revealed in our deliverance. As we journey through the intricacies of life, we often find ourselves perplexed by the challenges and the conflicting interests that surround us. Just as David faced deceitful enemies, we too encounter those who spread falsehoods and seek our downfall. We entrust our reputations, our names, and our integrity into your hands, O Lord. Let the truth be revealed, and may your light dispel the darkness of deceit. Lord, you are the one who knows the depths of our hearts, and you see the sincerity of our intentions. We pray for vindication, not out of pride, but out of a desire for your righteousness to be upheld. In our moments of despair and anguish, remind us of the greater purpose you have for our lives, and help us to walk in your ways. We also pray for the transformation of those who oposus, Lord, just as David interceded for his enemies, we ask that you soften the hearts of those who wish us harm. Guide them onto the path of reconciliation and peace, that they may come to know your love and forgiveness. In the complexity of life's challenges, we recognize that your ways are often beyond our understanding. Grant us the wisdom to accept your divine plan even when it seems mysterious or difficult. Help us to find contentment in your sovereignty, trusting that all things work together for good for those who love you. We thank you for the profound wisdom and comfort found in Psalm 35, a timeless reminder of your unwavering love and protection. May it continue to serve as a source of inspiration and strength for us, deepening our faith in your promises. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we offer this extended prayer, knowing that through Him we have access to your eternal grace and mercy. Amen. Heavenly Father, will you fight for me as I face opposition? Be a shield about me and come to my rescue. Please stop those who pursue my life and remind me that you are my salvation. May those who seek to harm me be disappointed and turned away. May they be ashamed and dishonored. Drive them away from me and trap them in their own traps. Make their way dark and slippery because they have pursued me for no cause. May they see their plans fail when they least expect it. As for me, let me be glad in your salvation and may I see your deliverance in my oppression and vulnerability. Father, protect me from false accusations and those who would love to see me fall. Shelter me from those who repay evil for good. Help me be like you, and help me love my enemies. Remind me to pray for those who persecute me. Help me to mourn for their misfortune, even when they delight in mine. Grant me the security in your love to extend love to the seemingly loveless and mercy to those who least deserve it. Be a refuge for me when they boast over me in my pain. When they see me fall and rejoice, help me know that you see me and will come to my rescue. Father, guard me against the lies of others 
from the hateful glare of those opposed to me. You are my judge, not those who delight at my downfall and deceive themselves about me. Do not keep silent and do not be far from me. Make clear to me and those around me the way you see me and your righteous assessment of me. Do not let those who rejoice at my calamity see their heart's desire. Disappoint them and make them look foolish, those who magnify themselves at my expense. On the other hand, let those who are for me, those who love me and love you, rejoice and shout for joy in you. May my life be a visible reminder of your faithfulness and love. Let them magnify your name for your work in my life and cause me to join them in praising your name. You are great and delight to take care of me. Help me to worship you. In Jesus' name, amen. Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for mine help. Draw out also the spear and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my hurt. Let them be as chaff before the wind, and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery. And let the angel of the Lord persecute them. For without cause have they hid for me their net in a pit, which without cause they have digged for my soul. Let destruction come upon him at unawares, and let his net, that he hath hid, catch himself. Into that very destruction let him fall, and my soul shall be joyful in the Lord, it shall rejoice in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is like unto thee, which deliverest the poor from him that is too strong for him? Yea, the poor and the needy from him that spoileth him. False witnesses did rise up. They laid to my charge things that I knew not. They rewarded me evil for good to the spoiling of my soul. But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I humbled my soul with fasting, and my prayer returned into mine own bosom. I behaved myself as though he had been my friend or brother. I bowed down heavily as one that mourneth for his mother. But in mine adversity they rejoiced and gathered themselves together. Yea, the abjects gathered themselves together against me, and I knew it not. They did tear me and ceased not. With hypocritical mockers and feasts, they gnashed upon me with their teeth. Lord, how long wilt thou look on? Rescue my soul from their destructions, my darling from the lions. I will give thee thanks in the great congregation. I will praise thee among much people. Let not them that are mine enemies wrongfully rejoice over me. Neither let them wink with the eye that hate me without a cause, for they speak not peace but they devise deceitful matters against them that are quiet in the land. Yea, they opened their mouth wide against me and said, Aha, aha, our eye hath seen it. This thou hast seen, O Lord, keep not silence, O Lord, be not far from me. Stir up thyself and awake to my judgment, even unto my cause, my God and my Lord. Judge me, O Lord my God, according to thy righteousness and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their hearts, Ah, so would we have it. Let them not say, We have swallowed him up. Let them be ashamed and brought to confusion together that rejoice at mine hurt. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against me. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, Let the Lord be magnified, which hath pleasure in the prosperity of his servant, and my tongue shall speak of thy righteousness and of thy praise all the day long. Heavenly Father, the Almighty and Sovereign Ruler of the universe, 
We bow before your magnificent presence with hearts filled with gratitude, reverence, and a deep sense of dependence. As we immerse ourselves in this extended prayer inspired by the profound sentiments of King David in Psalm 35, we acknowledge our need for your divine protection and guidance in the face of adversaries and those who seek to harm us. O Lord, just as David cried out for your intervention and deliverance from his enemies, we lift our voices to you, seeking your shelter and refuge. In a world where darkness often prevails, where adversaries both seen and unseen plot against us, we turn to you, our eternal and unwavering defender. We place our trust in you, knowing that no force or scheme can prevail against your might. In Psalm 35, David fervently implored you to contend with those who contended with him, to fight against those who fought against him. We echo his plea, Heavenly Father, and ask that your righteous judgment be brought to bear in our lives. As we navigate the complexities of this world, we call upon your divine authority to shield us from harm and to expose the wickedness that may surround us. Our lives are often entangled in the intricate web of human relationships, where conflicts and disagreements can lead to animosity and ill intentions. In the midst of this complexity, we ask for your guidance and wisdom to discern the right path. May your truth be our compass, illuminating the way through the labyrinth of deceit and treachery. Lord, you know the depths of our hearts and you understand the sincerity of our intentions. We pray for vindication, not out of pride, but out of a deep desire for your righteousness to be upheld. In moments of distress and despair, remind us of the greater purpose you have ordained for our lives. Help us to walk with integrity and humility, reflecting the light of your truth. In our pursuit of protection from adversaries, we also pray for the transformation of those who oppose us, Lord. Just as David interceded for his enemies, we ask that you touch their hearts and lead them away from the path of hatred and harm. Grant them the gift of forgiveness and redemption that they too may come to know your boundless love and grace. As we navigate the intricate complexities of life, we acknowledge that your ways are often beyond our comprehension. In these moments of confusion, grant us the wisdom to trust in your divine plan, even when it appears enigmatic or challenging. Help us to find serenity in your sovereignty, recognizing that your purposes are always good, even when they remain hidden from our view. We thank you for the timeless wisdom and solace found in Psalm 35, a steadfast reminder of your unyielding love and protection. May this sacred text continue to serve as an eternal source of inspiration and strength, deepening our faith in your promises. In the name of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, who demonstrated the way of forgiveness and love, we offer this extended prayer. Through him, we seek your protection and your grace in all things. Almighty God, in the intricate tapestry of our lives, we come before your divine presence with hearts yearning for your divine protection and guidance. As we draw inspiration from the profound words of King David in Psalm 35, we humbly seek your shielding embrace, O Lord, not only from those who harbor ill intentions, but also from the adversities and calamities that beset us. Like David, we find ourselves ensnared by adversaries, and we call upon your name, our steadfast fortress and refuge. In a world where malevolence often seeks to prevail, we anchor our faith in your unassailable might, recognizing that no plot or plan can withstand your omnipotence. In the depths of Psalm 35, David implored you to contend with those who contended with him, to fight against those who fought against him, we echo his fervent plea and petition, your righteous judgment to manifest in our lives. 
As we navigate the intricate threads of this existence, we invoke your divine authority to shield us from harm and to unveil the wickedness that may lurk in the shadows. But not only do we seek protection from the ill intentions of others, O Lord, we also implore your safeguarding grace from the unpredictable storms of life, the unexpected trials and tribulations that threaten to overwhelm us. As we face the turbulent currents of adversity and uncertainty, we trust in your providence to steer us through the tempest. In the labyrinth of human relationships, where intricacies and conflicts can give rise to animosity and ill will, we entreat your wisdom to illuminate our path. May your truth serve as our unwavering guide, cutting through the web of deception and perfidy. You, O oh Lord, understand the sincerity of our intentions and the depths of our hearts. Our plea for vindication is not rooted in pride, but in the fervent desire for your righteousness to be upheld. In moments of desolation and hopelessness, may we be reminded of the greater purpose you have ordained for our lives. Grant us the strength to walk with unwavering integrity, a reflection of your eternal truth. As we seek refuge from adversaries and adverse events, we also petition for the transformation of those who oppose us. Just as David interceded for his enemies, we implore your grace to soften their hearts and divert them from the path of enmity and harm. Bestow upon them the gift of forgiveness and redemption that they may come to experience the boundless love and grace you offer. In the intricate tapestry of life's complexities, we acknowledge that your ways often surpass our understanding. In the midst of confusion and uncertainty, endow us with the wisdom to trust in your divine plan, even when it appears mysterious or arduous. May we find serenity in your sovereign will, acknowledging that your purposes, though hidden, are eternally good. We extend our profound gratitude for the timeless wisdom and solace found in Psalm 35, an enduring testament to your unwavering love and protection. May this sacred text continue to be an eternal wellspring of inspiration and strength, deepening our unwavering faith in your promises. In the name of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, who exemplified the path of forgiveness and love, we offer this extended prayer. Through him, we seek your divine protection and your all-encompassing grace in all aspects of our lives. Amen. Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for mine help. Draw out also the spear and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my hurt. Let them be as chaff before the wind, and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. For without cause have they hid for me their net in a pit, which without cause they have digged for my soul. Let destruction come upon him at unawares, and let his net, that he hath hid, catch himself. Into that very destruction let him fall, and my soul shall be joyful in the Lord, it shall rejoice in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is like unto thee, which deliverest the poor from him that is too strong for him? Yea, the poor and the needy from him that spoileth him. False witnesses did rise up, they laid to my charge things that I knew not. They rewarded me evil for good to the spoiling of my soul. But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I humbled my soul with fasting, and my prayer returned into mine own bosom. I behaved myself as though he had been my friend or brother. I bowed down heavily as one that mourneth for his mother. But in mine adversity they rejoiced, and gathered themselves together. Yea, the abjects gathered themselves together against me, 
and I knew it not. They did tear me, and ceased not. With hypocritical mockers and feasts, they gnashed upon me with their teeth. Lord, how long wilt thou look on? Rescue my soul from their destructions, my darling from the lions. I will give thee thanks in the great congregation. I will praise thee among much people. Let not them that are mine enemies wrongfully rejoice over me. Neither let them wink with the eye that hate me without a cause, for they speak not peace, but they devise deceitful matters against them that are quiet in the land. Yea, they opened their mouth wide against me, and said, Aha, aha, our eye hath seen it. This thou hast seen, O Lord, keep not silence, O Lord, be not far from me. Stir up thyself, and awake to my judgment, even unto my cause, my God and my Lord. Judge me, O Lord my God, according to thy righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their hearts, Ah, so would we have it. Let them not say, We have swallowed him up. Let them be ashamed and brought to confusion together that rejoice at mine hurt. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against me. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, Let the Lord be magnified, which hath pleasure in the prosperity of his servant, and my tongue shall speak of thy righteousness and of thy praise all the day long. Our Father, in the intricate tapestry of our lives, we come before your divine presence with hearts yearning for your divine protection and guidance. As we draw inspiration from the profound words of King David in Psalm 35, we humbly seek your shielding embrace, O Lord, not only from those who harbor ill intentions, but also from the adversities and calamities that beset us. Like David, we find ourselves ensnared by adversaries, and we call upon your name, our steadfast fortress and refuge. In a world where malevolence often seeks to prevail, we anchor our faith in your unassailable might, recognizing that no plot or plan can withstand your omnipotence. In the depths of Psalm 35, David implored you to contend with those who contended with him, to fight against those who fought against him. We echo his fervent plea and petition, your righteous judgment to manifest in our lives. As we navigate the intricate threads of this existence, we invoke your divine authority to shield us from harm and to unveil the wickedness that may lurk in the shadows. But not only do we seek protection from the ill intentions of others, O Lord, we also implore your safeguarding grace from the unpredictable storms of life, the unexpected trials and tribulations that threaten to overwhelm us. As we face the turbulent currents of adversity and uncertainty, we trust in your providence to steer us through the tempest. In the labyrinth of human relationships, where intricacies and conflicts can give rise to animosity and ill will, we entreat your wisdom to illuminate our path. May your truth serve as our unwavering guide, cutting through the web of deception and perfidy. You, O Lord, understand the sincerity of our intentions and the depths of our hearts. Our plea for vindication is not rooted in pride, but in the fervent desire for your righteousness to be upheld. In moments of desolation and hopelessness, may we be reminded of the greater purpose you have ordained for our lives. Grant us the strength to walk with unwavering integrity, a reflection of your eternal truth. As we seek refuge from adversaries and adverse events, we also petition for the transformation of those who oppose us. Just as David interceded for his enemies, we implore your grace to soften their hearts and divert them from the path of enmity and harm. Bestow upon them the gift of forgiveness and redemption, that they may come to experience the boundless love and grace you offer. In the intricate tapestry of life's complexities, 
we acknowledge that your ways often surpass our understanding. In the midst of confusion and uncertainty, endow us with the wisdom to trust in your divine plan, even when it appears mysterious or arduous. May we find serenity in your sovereign will, acknowledging that your purposes, though hidden, are eternally good. We extend our profound gratitude for the timeless wisdom and solace found in Psalm 35, an enduring testament to your unwavering love and protection. May this sacred text continue to be an eternal wellspring of inspiration and strength, deepening our unwavering faith in your promises. In the name of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, who exemplified the path of forgiveness and love, we offer this extended prayer. Through him, we seek your divine protection and your all-encompassing grace in all aspects of our lives. Amen. Thank you for participating in today's prayer. Please leave your mark on this video by leaving like and subscription. You don't even know how it will help us grow and allow us to reach more people in spiritual need. Comment Amen for more similar videos to appear for you on YouTube. If you have any thoughts after the film, it would also be nice if you wrote them in the comments. Together we will overcome all evil that destroys us and our beloved world. Thanks again for praying with me. May God protect you. Amen. Two windows are displayed on the left. Our playlist of Psalms and on the right, a video selected especially for you. Click on the window to go to the next video.